Earth to Warren. Warren! Warren! Oh, sorry. We need to focus, people. If we want to make a really great film this year, we have to think outside of the box. We haven't come up with anything all that universal yet. I have an idea. How about we do a musical? <laughs> what if we did a whole film? Like, like Wizard of Oz? I mean, Oz is catchy. You go to a strange new land, meet weird and awesome people, and and the wizard is kind of like President Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> Toto, I've got a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. My first thoughts when I got to Carthage, the first day, it was like a feeling of complete freedom. I definitely was not in Naperville anymore. I was just excited to be here. I was very much ready to be in the next point in time in my life. I had no idea. All, all I knew about Wisconsin's um, the show, the 70s show. I've never really had to make friends, you know? And it was going to be up to me to kind of involve myself to kind of have that like college experience. I just had this big smile on my face like, wow, this is like a new chapter in my life. When my parents left, I think I cried for a couple hours. It was kind of a relief uh, when my parents first left. Sorry, Mom and Dad. <laughs> I was ready to get out of the house and ready to be on my own and start my own thing. Coming from a school of 280 kids with a graduating class of less than 60, I mean, it was huge. You realize that everything that you were used to, it's not that way anymore. So, no, we're not in Kansas and we're far from it. <laughs> my mom and I were in the hallway of Johnson Hall. I was on the second floor and we were both bawling. Oh no, she's going back to Africa, which is like 22,000 miles away from me. And then once I settled in and started hanging out with my roommate, all the nerves went away and I got really excited again to be at college. Hmm, a movie theme. We could do a grad film like a popular movie, brilliant. That's the best idea so far. I love that movie. I was a munchkin for Halloween once. <laughs> what? Well, anyway, it's a good idea. I mean, who hasn't seen The Wizard of Oz, right? I haven't seen The Wizard of Oz. What? <laughs> Cable is overrated. And besides, who has time for TV anyway? Oh, I do. Yeah, movies are good, but maybe something more recent? Way ahead of you. <laughs> Wait, go back. Go back one. I recognize that film. The guy with the trench coat. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill, the story ends. You wake up in your bed at home with your parents and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Remember, all we are offering is truth, nothing more. I enjoyed my academic life at Carthage. Being at this school, you're challenged in terms of knowledge. I think about the responsibility that comes with knowledge. The more difficult way is generally the more rewarding way. I first wanted to be a teacher and now I'm a double, you know, a double major with business and Spanish. I'm a psychology major. Religion. Business and marketing. International political economy. Bio pre-med major. I can't say that there's a class that I haven't liked. I know there's definitely ones that have been way more difficult than others. I've enjoyed everything I've learned, everything that we've, that we've done. I, my first class ever was Heritage with Professor Heitman. I actually really enjoyed it because each professor brought a different thing to the table. Him and I disagree on almost everything under the sun, but I've learned so, so much from him and he, I still consider him a mentor. I probably have, you know, been a challenge for some of my Professors. Um. <laughs> a professor that stood out to me was uh, Kathy Steinberg. Dr. Christine Blaine. Jean Preston. Professor Wolf for education, and he set the tone for me. His class, I wouldn't say it was the easiest class in the world. The religion department has been an excellent source of encouragement um, 
in, in such an incredible way. Every class that I've taken has helped me in some way, which is very important. I haven't wasted any time here. That's definitely a possibility. What else we got? Hello? TJ, what are you doing? Texting my frat brothers. There's a big party tonight. Oh. Wait, what about this? The ultimate college movie. It's about the fun and the excitement and the experience. It's, it's about college. Toga, 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 toga. I just don't see it as being appropriate. Appropriate? I think if you could sum up Animal House, you would say South Hall. Everyone was like pranking, right? College, you have to work hard and party hard. You'd retaliate, but you'd always go a little bit bigger. <laughs> um, I didn't do anything crazy, I can tell you that. I've been in student government for four years. SAC, University Christian Fellowship. Draft. International Friendship Society. And that's been one of my biggest growing experiences at Carthage, so I've never wanted it to stop. The friendships that are made was what drew me to Greek life. I am an Alpha Chi Omega. Delta Epsilon. Tau Sigma Phi. Pi Delta Chi is the only service sorority on campus. And they do so many great things for people, not only on campus, but in the community. Our personal Greek community, as well as the Greek community on campus, really rally around to help raise this money. It was just an amazing thing to see. This year's um, basketball season was probably the most unbelievable ride I've ever been on. That was like my very first thing when I went to college searching. I'm like, I will play tennis. Well, I played volleyball for two years here. We sealed the conference, finished 12 and two. My freshman year, we, uh, we went to the national championships. And then the conference tournament came back to, to the Tarbell, the Palace in Tarbell Hills and being on the team, the first team to ever make it in Carthage history for women's soccer was incredible. It's something that you know it's, you get to share with a few select group of people and not a lot of people at school get to do that unless you're an athlete. My first group of friends at Carthage, it was really the tennis team. I just wanted to meet everyone. The closest friends would probably be just made in you know the various activities. The people that I met in my orientation group. You spend so much time with with the team traveling and, and practicing. You can fit in and become best friends with everyone, really. They're just, they're awesome people and I, I, I'm glad to be their friend and I'm glad to know that they're my friends. I feel like my friends here are not my friends, they're my family. But most of these friendships will be lasting far into the future. The friendships I made here will definitely last me the rest of my life. I sincerely hope so. Um, I really wouldn't have made it through college without my roommate. I'm positive that many of the friendships I've made will last for a lifetime. Some of these girls, I could just live with them forever. There's mentors that I've had, just the friends that I've made. I know they're going to be in my life forever. It's my personal hope and prayer that they will be lasting into eternity. I do think that Carthage is the beginning of a beautiful thing for me. It's, it's amazing. And I know that I'll remember all my friends from college for the rest of my life. Okay, thanks. You were really great. Cut. That's a wrap. Okay, thanks, guys. Uh, let me know if you need anything else. Oh, um, hold on. Uh. Hey, wait. You forgot your hat. Oh, thanks. Uh. Um, Louise. Oh, yeah, Louise. So, uh, I'm done too. You want to get coffee or something? Oh, yeah, where? Well, we'll always have Starbucks. Yeah. What's your fave? Decaf quad ice venti, eight pump hazelnut soy with whipped stirred latte. Okay. Louise, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Nobody watches black and white films anymore. Black and white or not, we need to come up with something. So where do we go from here? I'm going to the bathroom.
something economics, Brady, Bueller, anyone, Bueller, can I help you? Hmm? Me? No, sorry. Wrong movie. Hmm. Now the Latin term for this sentiment is carpe diem. Now who knows what that means? Carpe diem. That sees the day. Very good, Miss Yab. Yab. Another unusual name. Yab. Yab. Carpe. Carpe diem. I'd like you all to step forward. Over here. And peruse the faces of the past. Go ahead. Get closer. Look into their eyes. Their eyes are full of hope. Remember, seize the day, boys and girls. Make your lives extraordinary. Even in the day-to-day -day little monotonous things, I'm like savoring every moment. You never know what the day is going to bring. You've got things you have to accomplish on a day-to-day -day basis. It's just one of those things where you have to wake up, know what you're going to do, achieve it, and then just keep going. Take advantage of every opportunity you can. Well, this past J term, uh, I was in Argentina. Every moment of this was memorable. Just walking the streets, I guess, of uh, Buenos Aires and Mendoza. I love their culture. I loved every minute that I was in Spain. It was unreal. The most fun part we had was we went to Snake Alley. Um, you know, you climb this enormous mountain. I've never gone climbing before. This school, especially through music, encouraged me to experience new and different things. I really loved it. So. <laughs> The hands-on experiences, I think, prepare you more for um, life past Carthage. I feel like Carthage is, has started that career progress. I had one internship with the United Way of Kenosha County. Seguin Services. I had to spend just shy of 700 hours in internships. I work as a religion fellow and a religion tutor, and I work in the writing center. Getting a portfolio together is the number one thing, and then I'll go from there. Can't look back. You have to look at the present and the future and live every moment to its fullest, which is definitely what I hope I've done at Carthage. We're coming up with some really great stuff. We just need something to tie it all together. Warren, you okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. I'm about tapped on ideas, guys. Chocolate! What? We need chocolate right now. Who's got chocolate? Great, hand it over. Would you like a chocolate? Mama always said college was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get out of it. College is like a box of chocolates. Every person's experience of college is different, so you never know what you're going to get. You meet a whole new group of friends. You don't know how things are going to turn out. You don't really know like which group of friends you're going to fall into. And It was so sporadic for me. It, it really kept things interesting. Your life can go in a million different ways, but it's just a matter of the decisions you make and where you're headed. the thing that I'm going to miss the most from Carthage is a sense of community. I'm going to miss the cafeteria and everyone's going to think I'm crazy, but I love it. The lake. Smelling the lake and the wind coming off the lake, I absolutely love that. How close everybody is. The, the sense of security. The thing that I will miss most. The people. The people. The people. The people. Is, is of course going to be the people and the relationships. Not being around them every day, not being able to stop in their rooms and stay up with them for a half or long I want to, that's going to be really hard. To my graduating class, it was a great four years. Thank you for the experience. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Good luck and enjoy your future. Keep in touch with everyone because I'm going to miss everybody. <laughs> to all those I know and love, thank you. Congratulations, good luck. I hope everyone does well and uh, we're graduating. Don't ever stop learning. It's all school from here on out.
we fade in. As students put their heads together, one student suggests The Wizard of Oz as an excellent idea for a commencement film. Uh, suddenly, we are whisked away. Dorothy the land of Oz walks along a yellow brick road. Toto, I've got a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs>